I believe that most, if not all of us, are afraid of fear. By that, I mean we all instinctively try to avoid fear. From a human evolution standpoint, fear is a useful response to physical or emotional danger, mainly when faced with life or death situations. But nowadays, stakes are much lower, and this supposedly useful response can actually weaken our progress in modern society. We may avoid public speaking because we're afraid of feeling humiliated. We may avoid confessing our love to our crush because we're afraid of rejection. Or even avoid pursuing our dreams because we're afraid of failure. But then you have people like Boji, who despite being small, weak, and deaf, keeps moving forward towards the ambitious goal of becoming the greatest king ever. Ranking of Kings tells an untraditional story with the traditional. Although a piece of fiction, Ranking of Kings is just like all great stories. It is rooted in truth. And Boji's character is one that embodies a realistic but exceptional kind of courage worthy of admiration and emulation. Which is why today we're going to go over three steps that I've learned from Boji on how to build real courage. The first step is to define what courage means to you. I believe many of us have a jaded perspective on the word courage as this big heroic thing only the strong can do. Courage is quite complex to define. Even Plato never came to a satisfactory conclusion on its definition. We've been bombarded with TV shows and movies about how being courageous means to not be afraid of anything or to put ourselves in danger to save others. A one-dimensional display of what physical courage is, often in the context of a life or death situation. But courage has numerous facets as a virtue and is much more complex than simply acting heroic. And that is where Ranking of Kings shines, in its display of courage. How courage can realistically manifest itself in our lives, not in a big, spectacular way, but in a subtle, almost silent manner. He was a man of ordinary talents, but there was one quality that set him apart. He had courage. This scene was my favorite scene in the entire anime. As Despa, the prince of the underworld, declares courage as the single most important virtue any ordinary man should possess. As mentioned previously, the entire premise of Ranking of Kings relies on Boji's journey to become the greatest king. The entire buildup of the beginning episodes leads us to this exact moment. Despa is supposed to be this special mentor who can make anybody stronger and turn any ordinary man into a king. As we witness this meeting unfold, we think to ourselves, this is it. This is the moment Boji becomes strong and plows through all his enemies to become the greatest king. At least that's how a traditional fairy tale would write itself. But instead of offering Boji a miraculous formula to cure his imperfections, Ranking of Kings opts for a humanizing approach instead, focusing on the importance of how a single virtue can bridge the gap between success and failure. The courage to keep moving forward, the courage to put his faith in others, and the courage to never lose his faith in himself. As any good storytelling would do, courage is shown rather than told in Ranking of Kings. If one were to see Boji not as this adorable animated character, but as a real person fighting through all the hardships, everything hits a lot harder. The bullying, the insults, the humiliation, every single day, constantly, without any miracle coming his way to save him. But Boji keeps moving forward. And moving forward takes courage because of the uncertainties and difficulties that could lie ahead. There is inherent risk in uncertainty because we don't know the probabilities of the positives or the negatives that will come out of it. And that can often result in inaction. The idea that courage is needed to move forward is quite vague, but enough to drive action. It is vague because moving forward could mean anything depending on your goals. It could be changing your career path to one that will make you happier. Or it could be having this difficult conversation with your parents that you've postponed for the past few months. Or living the life that you want for yourself despite getting out of your comfort zone. By defining what courage means to you, you naturally define your fears as a result, which is actually the first step towards courage and the first step away from inaction. Ultimately, there's no courage without fear and action. What are you afraid of and what can you do to overcome it? As you take time to reflect and admit your fears, you are taking the first step 
against your fears. The second step in building courage is then to desensitize yourself to your fears. There's a behavioral technique used in therapy called systematic desensitization and is actually a very logical way of dealing with fear. For example, if someone is afraid of snakes, the therapist would start showing a picture of a snake and gradually expose the patient to a more and more realistic snake over time while having the individual utilize some kind of relaxation techniques. There are two main components in this technique. We've already covered the first component, which is to define your fears. In this case, it's the snakes. The second component is about gradually exposing yourself to that fear while using a coping mechanism. In other words, it's about repeated gradual exposure tied with coping strategies. As you face each fear-inducing situation as a challenge, your fears become weaker while you grow stronger and become desensitized to them. For Boji, his biggest fear was that he would never be able to become a king, a fear that was drilled into his head by his mentors, his neighbors, and even his own brother. Thankfully, Boji had a loving mother that instilled into him a sense of worth. Thanks to that sense of worth, Boji had cultivated the courage to keep believing in himself. And that is probably the most realistic, miraculous coping mechanism one can use to overcome fear. Self-belief. The belief that you can do what you set your mind to do, no matter the circumstances, even if the public makes fun of you for it, even if your own family doesn't believe in your potential, and even if your mentor tells you that your dream is impossible. You believe in you, and that is sometimes the only missing piece in one's journey. If Boji, a small, deaf, and weak prince believes he can become the greatest king, what is stopping you from believing in yourself? Remind yourself of the achievements by others less fortunate and you shall remember your limitless potential. Aristotle said it best, moral excellence comes about as a result of habit. We become just by doing just acts, temperate by doing temperate acts, brave by doing brave acts. Bravery is simply a result of repetition, repeated exposure to your fears until you become comfortable being afraid, but also repetition in preparation. By practicing repeatedly and over-preparing, Boji was able to build up the necessary strength to become a king. More often than not, it is not possible to remove all the risk in our decisions, whether it is the risk of us butchering the task or having an external force obstruct us unexpectedly. There is almost always a risk that things don't go as we intend, and that is where the courage to believe in yourself comes in. The courage to believe that you can increase the probability of success in a situation to a point where you are comfortable in taking action. Courage is built through repetition. Lastly, the third step in building courage is to learn to delegate, meaning that you should learn to entrust responsibilities to others and not carry all the burden yourself. It is the courage to believe in others. In a very emotional scene, Kage calls Boji a coward for doubting healing. His stepmother, who has actually been very caring and helpful to him despite showing tough love. Boji, where's your courage gone? <sighs> the courage to put your faith in others. It is the ability to trust others that propels us to new heights. There is power in numbers, and Boji's journey is a picture-perfect representation of that. Healing was by his side to heal him of his injuries whenever he got hurt. Domus taught him the basics of swordsmanship and became an important ally to Boji by the end. We also can't dismiss Despa's training that taught Boji's newfound strength and Kage who helped him in all of his endeavors. All of this to say, Boji would not have had the success that he experienced without help. There is power in numbers again. Power in companionship. Power in mentorship. One can only run so far on their own. And what would Boji's life be without all those people? Certainly not close to being the person that he has become with them. So those were the three steps that helped Boji build his courage. The courage to move forward, the courage to keep believing in himself, and the courage to believe in others. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something useful. If you haven't yet, a like, comment, or subscribe will be very appreciated. That's it for me. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you all on the next one.